Really, you know, it's great for someone, just, you know, it's kind of pointless for anyone who's actually playing on the RTS channel for any period of time, and you actually had any kind of growth on a personal level. Of course, if you haven't, and you're still essentially on the infantile level when it comes to the RTS games, then Donald Flea's going to tickle your fancy. But at the same time, you kind of should be growing up. Time to leave the pacifier behind. And the diapers. Move on for pants and using the uh, toilet. And it's not going to work, RNDM. It's not going to work. Because, again, they're just going to still keep playing their MOBAs because they don't want to have to handle a lot of things. And they're basically sort of trying to appeal to sort of very sort of silly people. They want to be able to handle people who just want to throw a lot of stuff at each other. They're just going to play StarCraft. They're going to try to appeal to people who just want to, you know, play MOBAs, but they're just going to play MOBAs. It's just, you know, a mess that doesn't really work towards any specific direction. A bit like Metal's art. <laughs> like his pixelated Madonna with the big boobies. Anyways, there we go. Match begins here for Theodosius. Match begins. Rifleman for Theodosius. Kublagen for Refero. Looks like both are going to aim for here. So there'll be some heavy fighting around here, I imagine. And again, he could switch something towards again. Go for the Stuart Pioneer cool bag and push here, and then full switch move towards here. Check the title, Mr. Smith wins, but was 1 2. Two wins for Refro, two wins for Refro. Refro, 201 wins. 201 wins for Refro. Up there, Stuart Pine is cool by supporting. Now he's actually focusing pretty heavily on the east. Oh, he's getting Westford pushed there as east. Grayson's grabbing the southern point there. They're going to have some issues here. Folks and Rifle probably have some big engagement in the west. Kubelbach and rushing straight at the rear. Since Jump are ready to bring up, oh, pulls back pretty quickly. Ground the point. You can go for early heavy carry that way, lay down some sandbags around here, making it hard to be pushed off. Fixing up the Kubelwagen. You can do it with a win. Win it for my sake so I don't have to cast a fifth match. Please, Refero. Win. I beg of you, Refero. Win this. More folks is there for a Refero. Bravin versus Kubelbergen. Going points here, going points there. Folks going there sitting out for a refero. Pushing against the rifleman. And then got pushed away. Trot on the way there for Refero. Our supply 
And an early lieutenant here for Theodosia. That's definitely going to give Ref a bit of a problem. That's definitely going to give Ref a bit of a problem. Aggressive lieutenant play can give the Allies a bit of an edge there. That's the upper command of Vest. This is going for the Battle Group Headquarters. They could go for the Mechanized Regiment, I guess, here at Vest. And he's going for Quick M20 as well. Ref is going to be in for trouble. And oh no, that's going to mean a fifth match. No, win Ref for. Uh, Win! I don't want to go for a fifth match. Please do it for me, Refero. Do it for the fatherland. Denmark. But mostly for me, so I don't have to go for a fifth match. Starting to get tired. I've been pretty much doing for four hours with little break. Shooting for a big engagement in the centre here, but rather bogging down Refero. We're probably trying to aim to outmaneuver Refero. Oh, a few doses. Lieutenant versus Fox going to is going to try and fuck them down. But I'd rather commit it myself to it, Jay the Fifth. You know, I'd rather commit myself to it. Not going to give up now. I'm just kind of tired. It's a joke, Jay the Fifth. It's a joke for heaven's sake. Do I really need to write, you know, joke before I make it? Joke. Joke. I mean, I can do that. I can do that, but, you know, it would be kind of dull if I have to write out joke every time I'm about to make one. Jump up to the gap before supporting. Need to be careful before you need to retreat. Need to retreat. So, Mechanized Regiment here for a referral. It's going to probably try and push for looks against Theodosius. Cool Viking forces moving west for take Lieutenant being pushed back. The Cadmet is heading out there as well for Refero. Got the M20 rolling ahead. Aggressively engaging the Storm Pioneers. So yeah, not looking too good for Refero. I mean, you can get out of looks, there might be a chance of promise at this stage, though. If Theodosia should be able to easily wrap with bazookas, in which case he can quickly, you know, give the looks a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. He's also some time from the Patrick, which could help us the M20. Uh, here we go, a can of Lanta hit, a can of Lanta hit. Promise that there's nothing else to hit the M20. Uh, Kenneth getting swarmed here. Return moving up the cache and the photos out in the open. Oh dear, he's gonna get the cool bang without really getting punished for it. Come on, Refro, get the looks out. There we go, looks on the way for Refro, looks on the way. At this point, Theodosius could actually go for the major uh, right about now. Needs to get ahead of Refro. MG34 flying out there for Refro and the Oberkommando West Germany. Deutschland. Heavy machine gun team ready for battle. Our supply lines have been cut. Americans are making a push. Light tank. There we go, looks out for Refro. Has the doses laid down any much? Yes, yes! Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh dear, that could be a GG moment there. They're basically like Telemines, except they can immobilize space on it. I think they'll have to do more damage than the Telemines at the moment. They're pretty much the best anti tank mine in the game at the moment. The best anti tank mine in the game at the moment. Looks very quickly end up with a damaged engine. 
I think this is very likely to draw into a fifth match. And of course, I do not see Refra winning this right now. I mean, he could be surprised there. Wouldn't mind being surprised. Just more minds as well here. Regal mine actually does the least damage out of the M20 mine, the Telemine, and the Regal mine. The Regal mine does the least amount of damage. It actually got nerfed further on. So it does the least damage out of the three. The M20, I think, either does not about the same damage as the Telemine, it does more damage than the Telemine at the moment. I don't think Regal Mine's got cheaper, actually. I think they still cost six ammunitions. No marginal kits here for Refro. Salvage there, fuel up. A good work, though, by Theodosius mining down using some 20. Some players just neglect it. It still immobilizes space on it, still immobilizes. Which is still pretty good. I mean, people tend to underestimate the power of just immobilizing something. Big infantry push into the west there. We got the cool Luke Mentrum. We got elite or oh, spec ops here. Four refer spec ops. Force of suggestions in the east. Clearing the map. More force moving in. We got the truck on the way there for refro. Truck moving in. There we go, Refro going for the Schwerwehr match Schlepper. They are, Owen, they are. Matches are being played on the GCS balance preview. For some, you can see the Command Panther now being 11 command points. And he's. Oh, Refro's gonna make the same mistake he did in the last match almost. But this is going to go for the Met Belgrade headquarters after so far behind and few. Yeah. Theodosius has won this, I think. Theodosius has won this because Refro is more or less making the exact same mistakes here. The only difference is he hasn't gone for the stupid of us. That's pretty much it. But even then, he's just so far behind, he might as well have gone for it. Now we got the first Sherman out here in a match. There we go. Fort Theodosius. First Sherman tank adding the 50 caliber. Hmm. Looks like getting the M20, but Suga left behind. But the odds are not looking very good for that at all. Not looking good. Machine gun, I got wiped. Not good. Oh, we got the Sherman rolling head here. Let's we'll see for the looks. Two's been suppressed, been down. High close ramps if the Sherman lines are just further pummel. Refro's infantry, which is always in a pretty awkward state there, versus all of Theodosius' men, of course, and now the tank. Kenneth lands a good hit on the Sherman, but ultimately it's not enough. in the west dealing with the echelons. Theodosius can soon go for a Sherman and beat Refro's face in further.
And there you go. Folks going to push back here by the Sherman. Folks going to be taking hits. Almost wiping the entire squad. And there goes second Sherman for a few days. He's just pushing that advantage. Scott versus Refro. He is pushing it. He's pushing it out. There you go. Wipe the Fusco squad. Refro is clear in for the command panther. But the problem is, by the time he finally gets there, uh, Theodosius might have beaten him completely silly. Because he, at that point, easily, I think, three Shermans out. Easily. And the airflow is just barely hanging on. Tank support is here. Sherman ready. A capture point is under attack. Weapon rack is now open. Send your camera for a referral. Sandbags down there, he's desperately holding on, but again, he's being met with an increasingly embiggening American armored onslaught. Nope, they aren't Owen. They're not. Of them being pushed back by the Sherman. More false candies for Refro. Throwing that infantry at his opponent, hoping to drown him in corpses, it seems. Just while we can, Refro. Sherman heavily damaging the counter those with Ken Oh, almost got one, they almost got one. Truth being suppressed by the MD34. But there you go, Bazooka Fire on the looks. Doing a bit of damage to the Ken Mavis first. If you get rid of both the Ken Mavis, that looks will be in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Meanwhile, though, Theodosius is getting close to me calling a third one. Um, two victories for Refro, one for Theodosius. Looking here with Theodosius leading into second victory, so it'll be 2 2. Which means we're very likely to head into a fifth fight. Uh, a fifth fight. <laughs> I mean, Refro could pull something really impressive, but right now it's very much looking like Theodosius' win. In fact, no player so far in this. Uh, Series says uh, one with the axes. They've all been allied. Wins it, all allied wins. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture points. Troops in reinforcing. We got grenades now for Theodosius to just further up the uh, firepower there. We have to cover their fighting armpits when it's at the looks, but Suka Fats are hits also going off. And Theodosius can soon go for a third Sherman. A third Sherman tank. Good lord. It kind of seems like Theodosius and Refro just aren't good German players. They're better with the Allies than they are with the Axis. Setting up a flank here with Lieutenant Rifle going into the site. Good work. Supporting him for the Ackman. Then up the Sherman from the other side. Good work. we got two pushing up here as well. Supporting him with another Sherman. Grenade off against the MD-34. It's going to get a vibe there, thing. 
Yes, the MD-34 is wiped. MD-34 is wiped. Oh dear. Still the MD-34 there away from him. Still the MD-34. So 500 victory points versus 174. Looking pretty grim here for Ephraim. Looking pretty grim. Now we just finish off the fight quickly. Big push here. I think Theodos, he could easily go for a third Sherman here. He could also just go for him and call in a bolt as a Sherman at this point. Just crush the problem. There you go. Ken Neff Grenade from the other one. Wiped it. Yeah, grenades are pretty good if you know how to use them. It's just most people don't know how to. Both of Ken Neff's recruit. Quite expensive though, there for Ephodo. Looks virtually free. 17 kills for the fatherland. Germany. Deutschland. Eight troops in reinforcing as Theodosia get ready for the quick push. Again, you could easily go for more tanks with just steamroll. Refro's an actually. No, he briefly considered the Puma, but realized that. Yeah. I don't know. I'm surprised Refro's still fighting, honestly, at this point. I think the Adurge is just aiming for the person when he probably just finished faster. But just more armor of the regular kind. It's in a grenade here holding up the, uh, the advanced lieutenant. Almost got the false gun it is. More fire on the looks. You go for the Scott. A pair of Scots could probably be a lot down to Refro as well, to be honest. But yeah, he's just saying for the Persian at this point, which is just delaying the fight more than anything. Yeah, combined arms could also be quite handy. Combined arms could be handy if used correctly. Again, we just boost his firepower massively in one big push. Seems like uh, Theodosius doesn't care for it like most American players. Veteran before they on the looks. Veteran before. Pulls the white by the Sherman. I don't think so. Bazooka drop. I'm just going to the grenade off and wipes it. And can soon call in the person, he just needs a bit more manpower. He just needs a bit more manpower. Oh dear, grenade right into a huge blob of infantry! Oh dear. Refro is barely hanging on. Most of the swords are just dying all over the place. Dying horribly. Bleeding out. Sherman's there being repaired up. And he can soon go for the Pershing. We just stop reinforcing his troops for a brief moment. You can just get out the Pershing first. Then can also just easily reinforce. So he's just delaying it further. It's all against the riflemen as they push forwards for freedom and democracy, engaging the evil crowds in the midst of the open roads. Looks super close there to Veteran 5, super close. We got the reactions with the bazookas and their 50 cows moving out there. Showing up the left flank again, he were to sort of pull off a pincer maneuver like this. He could probably finish in particular support with the Pershing. But the question is, will Theodosian actually do that since it's so far? Not for himself, he's much of a pincer man. The Sugar fight against the looks. 
which probably to an extent the only thing that's kept Reffer in the fight for so long. He's close to losing it, he's close to losing it. There you go, something approaching a pincer attack here from Theodos, and again, this looks like an all assault. A Ken never wap, taking one's about to go down this rope. Pantaphos, this Sherman has no great impact. Looks in a lot of trouble, there we go. You could easily just relay them with the Sherman, to be honest now. Almost got the looks here, damaging you through sheer panzer fasting on the Sherman, but he gets the looks, and that's going to be it. There we go, looks is down. And with that, GG game over. On to the fifth and final fight. Oof, I am bloody tired.